everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So today we are actually going to be continuing our testing with the, uh, the Lehigh Defense uh, Copper Slugs. Um, these are the Extreme Defenders. So uh, these are actually 452s. And so I'm using MMP Sabo Cups to basically upsize these to the uh, 0.510 size of the Air Force Texan 50 caliber. So these are a little bit different. These are actually a fluid transfer monolithic, so which basically it's a solid. These are not a hollow point, but they have these little, uh, I guess you would call them like magic flutes. <laughs> there are little uh, scallop carvings that are cut out of the uh, copper. And so what those little cutouts are doing is basically dissipating the fluid as it punches through the game animal in the theory and actually it's been proven on a lot of other firearm channels like the military arms channel and many others that those fluid transfer monolithic flutes are basically opening a permanent wound cavity about three three and a half inches wide in diameter which in a lot of times is bigger and actually more effective than an actual traditional hollow point which is Kind of crazy if you think about it. So I was really interested in testing these in the uh, air gun, Air Force Texan specifically. So we'll see how these shoot out of the uh, the Sabos and we'll see what they'll do. All right, let's check it out. So yeah, we've got it topped off at uh, just shy of 250 bar. Uh, we've got the hammer spring tension set all the way to max on this. All right, here we go. Nice. All right, so I was able to find one of the Sabo cups, and if you look right here, maybe on that side right there, you'll see that the rifling is actually not coming in contact at all with the copper. So it's, yeah, it's not giving getting that friction that normally if you were to try to shoot copper without the Sabo cup, um, it would probably get lodged. So yeah, it's just riding right there on that plastic, engraving just enough to spin it, get some decent accuracy. So yeah, there it is. All right, so let's do some accuracy testing. We're gonna shoot a five shot group. Uh, before I shoot this group though, I do wanna point out, it's really, really important to make sure that they're seated into the Sabo cup the exact same way every single time. You will find that there is some accuracy deviation if you don't do that. It's also important to make sure you're seating it into the barrel the exact same depth every single time. So yeah, if you do those two things, you're gonna find that you're gonna get better groups. So yeah, let's uh, shoot a five shot group and check it out. high i think it might that one might have been me kind of pulled up a little bit on that one all right let's go check it out um this one i definitely know that i pulled up on a bit not sure maybe that one was a little bit of a flyer let's do the fun stuff let's see what kind of terminal ballistics this thing has so yeah, before we hit the uh, ballistics gel with this slug for some real official testing, I want to go ahead and just uh, smack a couple watermelons with it real quick, just since we've already done that with all the other Lehigh's. So yeah, let's see what it does. Here we go. So that was absolutely devastating. That's just where it entered. And you can see the remnants of that fluid transfer as it goes through the, through the watermelon. So what's interesting about this, it's, it's both um, penetrating, obviously both through watermelons, and uh, you know, you're getting that permanent wound cavity of that spiraling juicing effect. I mean, look at that, that's three fingers wide there. So yeah, so it's time to do some uh, real world testing here with some real FBI rated ballistics gel. This is 10% um, as tested and verified by Clear Ballistics. This is a 20 inch block, uh, six inches by six inches. And what we're gonna be doing today is running through all the different Lehigh slugs that you've seen me test so far up on my channel. And we're also going to be testing some Mr. Hollow Point slugs in that 350 grain to 385 grain 
weight range. And the reason why I'm going to be doing that is not to compare which one is better, but really to use it as a benchmark. Uh, there's a lot of hunters that are out there uh, that know that Mr. Hollow Point produces fantastic ammunition, and there's a lot of historical evidence that it's a great uh, tool to be using with big game. So really, I just want to use that as a benchmark to see, does this Lehigh ammunition, which really is meant to be more of a self-defense ammunition, to see if it stacks up as a hunting projectile for deer. So, all right, so yeah, here we go. Let's check it out. So first up, we've got the Lehigh Defense uh, 220 grain, and let's see what we'll do. Here we go. All right, so check out the uh, temporary wound cavity here. Uh, very much, you can tell it's tunneling. It's basically doing just as it's advertised with that fluid transfer. Uh, you're getting a lot more penetration with this, but it's creating that uh, tunneling effect uh, through the blocks. So yeah, this definitely would be a go-to ammo selection for let's say like an elk or a moose or a bear where you really want to have that deeper penetration, but at the same time, you're also gaining uh, that permanent wound cavity um, from that fluid transfer effect. So yeah, this this definitely is pretty interesting. Okay, so next up we've got the Lehigh Maximum Expansion 220 grains. Uh, definitely you're gonna see a lot more massive energy dump in the first few inches of the block here. So yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> check out that temporary wound cavity. If that didn't blow your mind, Watch this permanent wound cavity. I mean, just absolute insane amount of terminal damage. You just can't beat that expansion. That's absolutely crazy. Um, again, you'll see that it actually snaps back. Uh, it penetrated almost close to probably nine, nine and a half inches, and then it snapped back, but it, it, it's just absolutely devastating. So for good measure, let's, uh, let's shoot another one and just see what it does. <laughs> just wow it's just i mean come on it's just nuts next up are the lehigh f5 like a tornado 240 grain air gun specific ammunition Okay, so that is absolutely crazy. That's 19 inches of penetration after deploying those four pedals, almost like a grenade going off within the first four inches of the block. This right here, guys, is truly, truly a game-changing example of ammunition. So this right here is why copper projectiles are exciting to me. This is manufactured to do this exact thing where it's CNC'd where those pedals are going to break off but I had no idea it was going to get this kind of penetration so really you're getting best of both worlds multiple wound channels extreme amount of penetration guys I'm telling you what this this is the real deal this this is crazy all right to get some baseline testing we're going to be shooting uh three different slugs from Mr. Hollow Point a 345 grain a 350 grain and a 385 grain and uh, these are going to give us some benchmarks as far as penetration to see how well the uh, lehigh copper slugs uh, stack up so yeah let's check it out All right, so we've got a little bit of room left on the block, so let's do one more maximum expansion, 220 grain, just for the heck of it. All right, here we go. So this was the uh, setup here. So I was sitting here, and that's where the uh, tripod was. Muzzle was probably about here, so it's about six feet away from the block for every shot. So every shot was shot from the exact same distance. There's the block. So since I did not bring 
my tools to remove these slugs, nor did I bring my tape measure. Let's bring it back to the house and get some measurements. All right, so here we are back at the house. Uh, just to show you, this is a 20-inch block. So we've got uh, 20 inches here, and I did shoot it from both sides just to try to maximize uh, the number of shots I could get into this thing. All right, here we go. So we'll show you from the top here. So we've got... So from this side, we were shooting the uh, Mr. Hollow Point, Hollow Point slugs here. So we got one, two, and then we've got a third up here. And then also, um, this is the same side that we did the controlled fracturing Lehigh. And so, yeah, you can see the, uh, the pedals here were deployed. And that's actually where the slug ended up right there, almost all the way to the end. I mean, that's right at 19 inches of penetration. So... Um, again, a lot of shots <laughs> taken onto this block, so you'll be able to make sense of it as we show it in slow motion of which shot was which. But so let's do some quick measurements here. So the Mr. Hollow Points, uh, these are actually the 350 and 345 grain slugs here. Let's see what kind of uh, expansion we got on those. You can already see they're huge, but like they look pretty darn big. Um, and so this one, this was the 385 grain. And what I think happened, if you actually look at the bloom on here, the bloom pretty much ends right here. You know, a lot more penetration, but you also notice that it lost a little bit of the mass of the slug here, and then it continued on to there. So I don't know if it's just like the lesser amount of resistance so yeah, a lot of penetration here with the 385. Okay, so the maximum expansion, uh, one, uh, the fact that the actual Sabo cup is inside the gel block is pretty crazy to me. Um, but these were pretty surprising to me. If the Mr. Hollow Points uh, slugs, the 350 grain range weight, are getting between seven to eight inches of penetration, what's kind of crazy about this is that these 220 grain maximum expansion hollow points are also getting eight inches of penetration. Okay, so here's the big reveal. <laughs> um, I've got these really crazy long 12 inch hemostats from Harbor Freight. <laughs> these things are pretty crazy. All right, so I got a hold of it, trying not to break it as I pull it out. Come on, baby. <laughs> Man, look at that. That is n wicked. <laughs> wow. Come on, baby. Look at that. <laughs> That's just nuts. All right, let's get this guy out. He's looking fully expanded. Ah, that's so beautiful. All right, so here's the third one. Come on, get out of there. Ah. All right, that's three for three. All right, got a hold of it. Come on, baby. There we go. And there is the remnants of that core. So you can see the fins there. So what's crazy about this, focus, is these fins are doing just enough to seal that barrel. And it's riding just, and I don't know if you can see, but it's riding just enough on that rifling to spin it for really, really good accuracy, at least 50 yards. And that's where the uh, pedals are breaking off, creating four separate wound channels and penetrating 19 inches into this block. So I think of everything that I've tested today, this right here is probably the most surprising and dare I say game changer out of all of it. So definitely would be willing to take these deer hunting. Okay, I actually forgot to say this before I pulled this out, but this last one right here is the extreme defense. This is right here at uh, 16 and a half inches. So, you know, it really isn't dumping all the energy at the beginning like the rest of them. It's kind of spreading that energy transfer all the way through the wound cavity. 
and it's right there at 16 and a half inches. So let's pull that out and see what we got. Here we go. Come on. There we go. And of course, there's no deformation on this one. It's not made to deform, it's made to hold its shape. So that's perfectly what I expected, but there she is. Okay, so just for uh, comparison in size, inch and three quarters, okay? Absolutely devastating. These are still, <laughs> I mean, absolutely huge. I mean, look at that. You're getting about, that's right at an inch for a hollow point. That 50 caliber hollow point is just, I mean, it's crazy. These, you know, I haven't shot a deer with them yet, so I really have no idea, but everything I've shot through, ribs, melons, and now FBI gel, they all pretty much do this exact same thing. And I don't know if it's because of the CNC copper, it's kind of more of a predictable result every single time. Um, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's doing its job in the gel. So yeah, you're definitely getting way more expansion with these with very similar penetration. But let me say one thing about these versus this. I'm gonna say this is good out to 100 yards. I'm getting really good accuracy out to 100 yards. The ballistic coefficient is gonna be higher for these because they are much heavier. Again, these are 350-ish grains. This one's only 220. So once you start getting out past 50 yards on this, and plus you're also shooting this out of a sable cup, which is introducing some fault points where maybe you don't see it the exact same way in the sable cup every time, or maybe it engages the rifling a little bit different because of that sable cup. With these, you're, getting gonna, you're gonna get a lot more probably consistency. So if you think you're gonna be taking a shot over let's say 50 or 75 yards, so definitely you're gonna go with a lead-based slug. Uh, you know, 50 yards and in, since you're getting very, very similar uh, penetration, but you're getting bigger expansion, you know, I would definitely consider this. But again, that sable cup, it definitely is introducing an X factor that we always can't account for what it's gonna do. All right, so there you have it. It's, uh, some official gel testing here on my channel. Uh, really and definitely recommending the Mr. Hollow Point slugs. So yeah, if you wanna try something new and something different, definitely check out these Lehigh's. So yeah, guys, you know, it's uh, it's August. You know, we only got a couple more months until opening day of deer season. Uh, so here in Michigan, we've got an early antlerless doe season uh, to really kind of get our uh, deer herd under control. So I'll be going out, uh, hopefully with some other air gunning friends. And um, yeah, I, I, who knows, I might be slinging some of these. I definitely know I will be slinging a Lehigh defense just to test it out in an actual real game situation. Uh, man, I tell you what, these, these have some promise. So yeah, if you want an Air Force Texan, pick one up at Utah Air Guns. Those guys over there are hunters just like me. They can answer your questions, point you in the right direction. So thanks for everybody for joining me. This is Chris with Up North Air Gunner. Take care.